Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look that I did using some eyeshadows from Juvia's Place. Of course, you know Juvia's Place is like my go-to eyeshadows, especially when I'm not really sure what direction I'm going. Um, but I wanted to do something kind of like fall ready, even though I'm not ready for summer to be over. But we're going to be going into some of those warmer, you know, those looks we like okay those looks we like um those are starting to come back so i wanted to come through and show you guys a fall ready makeup look as well as some very beat flawless skin using mostly drugstore products honestly or inexpensive products um for this makeup look but i really hope you guys enjoy this video but so before we hop into this video, please make sure you are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. Don't forget to comment down below of some other things you guys want to see on my channel. Um, and yeah, let's hop into the video. I will be back um, yeah, at the end to close out the video. So let's hop into this makeup look. So first I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer in the shade Maple to prep my eyelids and I just use my beauty blender to blend that out. Next I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette and I just use that middle shade just to set that concealer. You don't have to do this, but I only did it because I like the color that it gives off. So it's kind of like a really nice base for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Morocco from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette, and I'm just gonna use that as my transition shade. You guys know that I love shades like this to do my transition. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm just going to be applying that to the transition and blending it out. The brushes that I'm using are all from Juvia's Place. If you guys are interested, their brushes are actually really, really nice and inexpensive. And they are super soft and great quality. If you guys are wondering, I will have a link for their brushes down below so you guys can check them out. Next, I'm going to go in with this yellow shade from the Juvia's Place Wahala palette over Sabi. I've been loving yellow in my transition area. I've really, really been liking it. Um, so I'm going to use this shade and kind of blend that above Morocco just to kind of give it like a nice little gradient effect. Next, I'm going to go back in to the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I'm going to use the shade Kenya and I'm just going to use that to apply that to that outer the area before I get to my lid and I'm just going to kind of blend it in not too deep into the crease. I don't know. I don't really like deep crease colors. Um, so I usually only apply them kind of on like that outer V area. And then I just go in and blend a little bit more Morocco because I don't want this color to get lost in this look at all. I really like this color to show through any eyeshadow look. Well, not any eyeshadow look, but this particular one. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer again. This time, I'm going to use the shade Chestnut, and I'm just going to use that to cut my crease. And you guys have seen this hack before. I've done it in a previous video on another look. Next, I'm going to go in with this green shade from the Wahala palette, and I'm going to use the shade Fighter, which is such a pretty green. Again, I'm using a brush from Juvia's Place, which this is like a really good brush um, just to get into like very like detailed, so I'm not um, messing up that cut crease. So I'm going to go in with that. I wasn't sure how many colors I was going to use on the lid, uh, so that's why I didn't apply it too far in. Um, but I ended up just using this color and one other color.
Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Gossip in, um, from the Wahala palette as well. And I'm going to apply that next to that green. And I do actually end up bringing this color all the way into um, the rest of the lid. I kind of really loved how this shade looked. So I ended up um, applying it all the way in, which you guys will see in a minute. Um, but originally, I thought I was going to go in with one more like shade, but I didn't. Um, so that's why you kind of see that inner portion still left blank, but I do go in and fill that in with this shade this same color as well Then I just went back in with a little Morocco on a smaller kind of blending crease brush just to kind of like help define that crease. I, like I said, I didn't want this blended, this look to be super blended. Um, I wanted it to be really a cut crease. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to go back in with Kenya and just reapply that to the outer V just to deepen that up a little bit because it kind of got lost in the sauce as I was applying all the other shades. So next I'm going to start working on the complexion, my favorite parts. I'm going to be going in with the Black Radiance Orange Corrector and I'm just going to apply that on my upper lip underneath my eye and I'm going to blend that out with a brush from Juvia's Place. This brush is bomb. This red brush set, they're, they're bomb. I love all the, I love all of their brushes, but I really like this particular one for blending out that concealer underneath my eye it just it just really did a really really good job of um blending all of that out <clears throat> next i'm going to go on with my foundation i'm using a the milani i believe this is the conceal and perfect foundation and concealer and i use the shade chestnut and spice almond and mix them together i can honestly get away with just using chestnut it's just slightly a little bit too red so i just add like one pump of spice almond just to tone it down a little bit but i honestly could get away with just using chestnut so um i'm going in i'm going to use um kind of like a buffing brush first and then i'm going to go in with my beauty blender to kind of like get rid of any excess foundation and just to just make it look super airbrushed i kind of been liking doing my foundation this way these days just because i feel like it gives a more flawless look when I do a brush first and then blend it out with a beauty blender. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Coats Concealer in Chestnut. And I'm going to be using this to contour, I mean, excuse me, to highlight. And then to contour, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Shade Stick in Tanzania. And this is like a really, it's probably like one and a half shade darker than me it's not that much darker than me um but i kind of like this shade to give me a really nice natural contour if i want like a strong contour i go on with congo but this one i just wanted something really really light this brush here too from their little purple set i don't know if this brush is sold separately or if it's part of another set but i love this brush to contour i've been using it a lot to contour it's a really really good soft dense brush To set my concealer, I went in with the Black Opal Finishing Powder. Actually, no, this is not the Black Opal Finishing Powder. This is the Ben Nye Banana Powder in Banana and Topaz mixed together. And I'm going to use that to set my highlighted areas. Again, when I set my under eye and all those other places, I tend to not use a sponge right now. 
I use a brush. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place gel liner, which I don't think they make this anymore, but I am gonna go in with the gel liner to line my waterline. And then I just go in with Kenya and Morocco and apply those to my lower lash line. You know, that's kind of something I always do, kind of repeat my transition slash crease or out of V shades on that lower lash line just to tie the look together. Then I'm going to go in and set the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with the Iman Pressed Powder in Earth Medium to set the rest of my face. I love this powder. I actually love this powder with my Fenty foundation as well. Believe it or not, those together gives you a flawless finish. So, you know, if you still got that Iman powder, put it to work. It does work really nice with the Fenty foundation as well. This has been kind of like my go-to pressed powder right now. Next, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette, palette in Medium to Dark. You guys know this is like my go-to contour. I do have another contour that I bought. I just totally forgot to grab it for this video. Um, but I'm going to go in and contour. And I'm just going to go in with that shade Sculpt from that, shade, that same palette. And kind of do like the bridge, not all the way down, just kind of like that part, you know, between the eyes. Um, and just contour my nose like really a little bit not too much because I already have like a pretty like slim nose I guess next I'm gonna go in with this kind of glittery shade called pepper body as my inner tear duck highlight guys and let me tell you something I love this I love how it looks it looks super super pretty I wish I had like some glitter glue it would have been perfect Next, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1 Blush Palette and I'm going to use the shade Neo I use kind of a too dense of a brush to apply my, my blush, so it looks really, really intense right now because this is actually a foundation brush, which I didn't even realize. I'm going to try it up with a foundation, and I just kind of blend it out with my powder just so that it don't look too, too much, but I like it. And then I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Setting Spray. I actually like this setting spray. Um... It, it was kind of one of those things I picked up for my um, Buy Black Owned Makeup list. Um, I actually like it. I like how it smells as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Cola. I believe this is Cola Lip Liner. Part of their Nudes Collection to line my lips. I really didn't need a lip liner for the shade that I was using, but I always buy lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with their lipstick in Cocoa. Man, these lipsticks are bomb. I hope they come out with like a red collection. If they come out with a red collection, I'm buying the whole collection, honestly. Okay, so this is the completed look, guys. I love how this turned out. It looks super pretty, super flawless. Like this, the skin is giving me everything. The eyes are giving me everything. The lips, everything is just popping. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I will have a list of all the products as well as links of where you can purchase any of the products that I used in this video down in the description box if you guys are interested. I will also have a link for these earrings as well. They are still available on my site for those of you who are interested. Um, so make sure you guys check out these earrings before they go out. I do have a few of them and they come in two other colors as well. Black and like a brown, like an actual like brown color not like this cognac color um so definitely check out the links down in the description box for all of the information about this video about my shop and everything else that you guys may ask check the description box it is nine times out of there nine times ten nine times out of ten down there for you guys to check out just so that if I can't respond to your comment right away I try to put as much information in the description box for you guys as much as I can also Give me some um, black owned brow products that you guys use that you are interested besides Fenty, okay? Don't give me Fenty. I already know about that. 
give me some other black owned brands that sell brow products because I definitely am working on my list that I did in my last video um, about holding myself accountable. So I'm kind of looking for some brow stuff that's kind of next on my list to work on. Um, if you guys want to update on my list, um, follow me on Instagram. I kind of update as I go along, as I buy things and I will post and cross out things from the list. So follow me on Instagram if you guys want to keep up on that as well. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. And if you guys ask me about my hair, honestly, this is just a blowout that I just did for Big Bantu Knots and I didn't film it. I have a blowout video of how I blow up my hair. So I will have that, that video linked in the cards. I think it's over here, over there. One of these, I will have it linked in the card section for you guys to check out my blowout routine. I have one. It does it rarely, rarely, rarely rarely changes so i will have the most recent one um linked so you guys can check that out and i use my mango butter to do my bantu knots just so you guys know and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and i will see you guys next time bye guys